And now I'd like to welcome on stage Monica Guzman of The Big Blog. And she's going to talk about how you can be a better news commenter. Please welcome Monica. Hey, guys. All right, so my name is Monica Guzman. I'm an online reporter with Seattle PI. Now, the internet has done a lot of really great things for news. Not so great things for the business, but great things for the news. And one of the great things about it is you can talk about news. The thing is, the conversation we get isn't always the best. And the good news is, though, that you can help better that conversation by going in, by doing things right. I mean, sarcasm, anger, those kinds of things get in the way, discourage people from wanting to participate, and none of that's good. And, you know, when we reporters have to look at our stories the next day with, like, 100 comments and half of them are so mean, it's not good. So how can we improve this conversation? And the reason it's great to improve this conversation is because it improves journalism. I mean, the whole thing about the internet and the news and what it's done is that it's eliminated some of the middlemen in our business, you know, PR representatives, officials, offices, whose whole job is to just make sure like news gets to us. But now, when you have such instant ways of you know, talking to us, you can, you really are the experts. As Seattle residents, you're the experts, so we want to hear from you. Now, the first thing to think about is choose your story wisely. If you want to go in among the Britney Spears commenters, go ahead. If you want to talk about conservative this, liberal that, go to the national news stories. But if you want to have an impact, go to local stories with local bylines and people who actually are going to read and care about what you think. Now, my love to the Fremont Troll, but you don't have to be nice on comment, on comment boards. I mean, you can criticize if you explain yourself, but it really stinks to be angry. I mean, I can guarantee that if you're angry, if you're knee-jerk, you're going to turn people off. So what do you do with the other people who are bullies and who just aren't listening to the rules and are being totally mean? The best thing to do is ignore them. Just focus on the smart. Smart part of the story, a really smart comment you want to respond to, that's the thing to do. Take the time to read the story and evaluate your response. So a couple of things you can do. One, tell us what you think. You know, there's political stuff going on. The viaduct is still old. Streetcar lines are going up all over the city. Now everybody's happy about it. And if you know that you're frustrated with something that's going on, really be careful to aim your frustrations in the right places. Be specific about who and what you're upset about. And what this does is it kind of creates for us journalists a way to kind of map the chain of clashes. And a lot of the times the stories that you all need to hear and we need to report kind of fall along those lines of those clashes. So it, it again, makes for better journalism. Another thing you can do is tell a story. So we didn't quote you in our story. Quote yourself. It's the beauty of the comment board. If you're Connected in any small way. You live down the street from someone who got shot. You know, you think that your neighborhood is just changing too quickly and in the wrong ways. Tell us about it. And what this does is really awesome because it kind of makes journalists go beyond their Rolodex and beyond their typical contacts. And we go and we read your comments and suddenly we learn, you know, there's a new stakeholder in this issue we didn't even know about. And suddenly we have a deeper, broader journalism for you guys. So another thing, tell us what you know. Now, a lot of us, We've worked, not me, but for years in journalism and from nine to five, and we really consider ourselves experts. But no, like that's just not the way it is. And if you have a link or a study that you know of related to a story, you go on a comment board, link it. Um, the thing is like 600,000 heads in Seattle are better than one reporter, better than 20 reporters, better than a whole newsroom. The more that we're able to pool our resources and use online to do that, you know, the better that the experience of reading news will really be. So the single, Easiest and most effective thing that you can do on common boards is ask questions. It's not done nearly enough, and there is no clearer way to tell your reporters precisely what you want and need to know. It's a very clear concept, and it's very important to be specific about it. Don't be sarcastic. Don't be bullish. Really think of the right question for the issue. Um, we did a story about Almost Live, and people were like, where are the Almost Live DVDs? And we called, and we found out, like, they're not coming. That sucks. But um, then in Capitol Hill, the, the tragic killing of Shannon Harps, you might remember that, women were really scared and wanted to know about self-defense classes. So we did a blog post. We did a story. Now, not all news organizations are going to require you to come out and sign your name or register, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't. You really should. You should consider it. It's a way to own your ideas and to take accountability. You know, the reporters have to have bylines. Why not you? <laughs> Darn it. And um, also remember that we're human. You know, we live down the street from you. We try to do our jobs really well, and we like to hear from you. So if you want to send us an email, if you want to say, hey, you know, Todd Bishop, I read your Microsoft stuff all the time. Like, you know, keep it up. Here's a couple more ideas. Do it. So recap, go for impact. Ignore the trolls, tell us what you think, what you know and what you've lived, ask questions, and then get to know us. So if you've never left a comment on a news story before, try it this week and just see how it goes. Um, I mean, as a reporter, I just hear about the days when it was just a reporter's notebook and a reporter could only talk to one person at a time, but now reporters, while we sleep, you guys can all still talk to us. And we wake up in the morning and we see your comments 
And it's great. It's really wonderful for journalism. So if you're an awesome news story commenter, it'll just improve journalism for everybody. Here's a couple of sites you can go on to, journalistic blogs and local sites like seattlepi.com. So my name is Monica. I write the big blog on Seattle PI, and I will see you online. Woo!